Hi guys, it's Belle here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a 50-50 collab with the awesome Foslu. I hope I say your name right. Or Georgia, as she calls herself. She said in the video these two names or in the description you will see her name pop up and I will leave everything in the description. She asked me to do this collab with her and she also asked me to go first so I didn't have any idea what I wanted to do in the beginning but then suddenly I thought I'm a librarian so I could do a library and I will go to the library in a few I just want to tell you that I had a long time, uh, took me a long time to do this build. Um, what you see now, uh, this is, was so, so, so long to size up these lights and to put them on the right space. It took me ages. Also, other parts of this library took me such a long time. That's why I cut parts out. But what I'm building is the Beinecke Rare Book and Manuscript lab Library. This is the Rare Book Library and Literary Archive of the Yale University Library in New Haven, Connecticut, USA. I'm just reading this from the Wikipedia article and I will put the link in the description in the end. The video tour is around, I think, 25 minutes. I will put it on the screen. You can see it now when the video tour is. There you will see two pictures I took on the in from the internet. So you can see how this library looks like. Maybe some of you have been there or even studied there. I have no idea. I don't know a lot about this library. I just, it was one of the first pictures I saw when I was looking for pictures. And I really liked it because normally there are so many beautiful libraries around the world. And normally I like the old ones, the majestic ones with these beautiful halls. But this one, it just rang a bell or rang a chord inside of me I just loved it and what I'm doing now is when you because the build is so special I didn't want to make some sort of an entrance so you go um, down in front of the build there are stairs to go down and this is the sort of entrance hall this is not at all in the real library I only um, got inspired by the two pictures I will show you so all the rest I imagined it myself and because I work in a library I have a bit of an idea what should be in there or I thought I wanted to have it in there this library was designed by Gordon Bunshaft of Skidmore, Owings and Merrill and it was completed in 1963 so it has this vibe of the contemporary 60s architecture style I don't know every anything about architecture I think I will ask my brother he's an architect but yeah, it is a six-story above-ground glass enclosed tower of book stacks and it is surrounded by a windowless rectangular outer shell supported only on four massive piers at the corners of the building. I tried several things I put on the foundation. I had a lot of things but I had to change it because it didn't work. So yeah, of course it doesn't really look like the real library but I think if you know this library you will be able to recognize it um, I'm not sure what I was looking for over there on the gallery but here I'm doing the restrooms I thought because it is a rare book and manuscript library so the 
wardrobe to put your bag so you can't steal any book or also the, the, the bathrooms they should be in front of the real building so you can stay there if you want to before you're going inside and um, I added something that was a bit funny in the bathroom I uh, Added, I changed the lighting in, in the bathroom, I changed it to blue, I'm not sure if you have this too, but um, at our public restrooms in Switzerland, we have, in most of them, we have this blue lights, it's just so, yeah, you can't um, use drugs in there, I won't go into any more detail. But I just thought it would um, give it a little bit of a, of a realistic uh, vibe to put it in there. And it actually doesn't look so bad. I am not really sure um, if you can just go into the library as a normal user. It is just that it is one of the largest buildings in the world devoted entirely to rare books and manuscripts. The library has room in the central tower for 180,000 volumes and room for over 600,000 volumes in the underground book stacks. You will see a part of that, how I made it. And uh, yeah, I'm just not really sure. Oh, it is open to all Yale University students and faculty and to visiting researchers whose work requires use of its special collections. In order to access materials, there are a few forms and policies that users must re read. Yeah, because they are really rare books. So you also have to um, pass at the reception desk, you have to go around to the wardrobe first and then this is the uh, sort of antichambre that goes into the library. I did this first because I knew that when I would start the main build I would have to do this tower, this book tower. You can see that I'm trying to do it now and I also knew that I wanted to have from down below the stairs that are going up. I wanted the book tower to be in the entire build, so you will see that as well. And yeah, I had some difficulties because I think if you are on the ground level, uh, you can't really um, go down or just this split level thing I haven't really figured it out yet but I will see but in the end how it turned out and how I came up with it was really okay the problem was I had to um, take away the columns because they didn't really look good for the build I also had a lot of problems you will see this because when I had my outer walls the inner walls um, were, were also like the altar wall so I had to change things and I think I could have made it much easier but that's why parts of the video are cut out I hope you still see the logic behind it and you still see how I built this the problems also was with the freezes because I wanted to put them on the roof because it looked good but you can see them inside and the inside of the building, um, if, if, if you see the outside of the building, it's, it's white, it's this marble, it's white and grey. And inside it is, um, from the pictures I saw, the, some of the floors are white also, but a lot of it is um, brown and, and with all these lights. But I thought if the ground floor is white and the outside is white, it doesn't matter if you have these freezes outside so it looks a bit special if you are on the inside if you download the build it will be on the gallery as soon as Foslu's part is up because she's doing the second part and uh, yeah as soon as it's up if you download it you can um, change everything you want 
I uploaded, I downloaded just the library into my game for my filthy LP because I need a library there. But of course, I can't wait to see what Foslu is doing. Um, I'm really curious to see what she's doing. She's a, an amazing builder. I've watched some of her speed builds. I love what she's doing. She's very creative. She's doing so many builds and you should definitely follow her on Twitter, on the gallery and you should sub to her YouTube channel if you haven't already. I think most of you have. I'm sure about that. Here you can see my problems with the inner and outer wall. And yeah, my boyfriend could tell you stories how I was annoyed. I think I'm not sure how long it took me to build, but I think a third of this was in fact just me correcting things. Or uh, here I realized that with the shelves it wasn't right, so I had to change everything. So I could have made a plan before, sort of an architectural map and map it out better so it would have been much easier for me um yeah what more is to say about the collections maybe i read something yes in the um Beinecke rare book in manuscript library um where is this da, da, da. yes um, it, it displays, among other things, one of the 48 existing copies of the Gutenberg Bible. And yeah, it also has the books gifted by King George III and it is referred to the King's Library. So yeah, it really has um, some amazing collections in there. I also work in a rather big library. We also have uh, important uh, collections in our library, and we also have to um, we have to collect things for eternity. So it is very important that we take care of the books and of the newspapers. Um, I work in the public section of the library. I, I'm an information research specialist, so I I help people doing research in the back office, but also in front. And often my work consists of telling people that they're not allowed to drink uh, inside the library or to eat or to have their coats, which is really annoying, but it's very important because these books shouldn't be damaged and I um, can imagine that it is the same here. I'm working on the book tower. I put some glass in front of it. I'm not really sure if there is glass, but I think these rare books are certainly not accessible. And uh, because it was a bit dark, I worked with these wall lights that are really convenient. And um, with the nine key, I left all these bookshelves. It took me a very long time. I put all these lights between this very narrow space and I won't show it. Um, I won't show you, um, I will only show you parts of it. The advantage was that when I did the rest that I didn't put on um, the video on the recording I could watch some other YouTube videos I have dual screen so on the right screen I watch videos while I'm while I'm building and uh, it works really well so this took me such a long time but it was it's worth it I really like this library and I think it's the first library I built in the Sims 4, but it certainly won't be the last. Here is um, the underground book stacks. Of course, there are much more, but I just wanted to show you um, my my uh, version of it. Here is a sort of a an office place for staff members. You won't see any any stairs going down I just wanted to to um, visitors that they don't have access down there you must imagine that there's some secret passageway on the ground that they can go there and also some telelift system we have one telelift system to get the books from the underground book stacks to 
the users you have also a, the same reception from desk where users can go and can say i want to look at this i want to look at that you also have this on the another floor where the visitors can um, be so we don't have any librarians that sit there on these um, Sims 4 community lots, but you just can imagine that um, that uh, this person is there. We have a picture of the founder of the library, of course, because I think where is this? I read it, but I didn't. I didn't wrote it down. Uh, da -da, security measures. Yes, it was designed, I told you, it was designed by the architect and it is, it was established by a gift of the Beinecke family and given its own endowment, the library is financially independent from the university. So I believe this is a picture of Mr. Beinecke that you saw and I will also put here a sort of a, um, I, I don't know how you call this when you build a house you you always have a, a some part where the first stone is where you built it and that is the a founder statue and uh, there I will add stones behind this of course no one can go down except from the library stuff so as annoying as this build was I really love to build it because I'm a librarian at heart and I love my job I love libraries and there are so many amazing libraries in the world so I said it was the first library I built in The Sims 4 but it won't be the last I'm not sure if I will ever build my library maybe it's a bit too personal for me to share this with all of you but I will certainly try to rebuild or recreate some other famous libraries in The Sims 4 so if you have any library you would love me to see, build, see um, building in The Sims 4 please leave a comment down below and if it's possible if I can do it I will recreate it or just do a part of it so here I'm just adding some paintings on the wall and I use these wall lights again. And you can see I'm, I, I built from the, or I furnish from the ground floor to the upper levels. Here I'm doing some working spaces for visitors. We have some of these at our library, a lot of others do. I have no idea how it is in the Beinecke library. I didn't see it. I just tried to um, make something that I thought would be, would be, um, maybe could be there. I used the, the colors a bit, the color scheme. There are some brown leather, there's some brown leather furniture just to sit there. And I tried to use a bit of the same color scheme in the working spaces. I also added a bit of red, some very little plants because this is an underground build. It hasn't any windows, but this doesn't matter because it's good for books if they are not exposed to natural sunlight. So I just want to add a bit of plants and some very cozy furniture. I think these working spaces are really nice. Um, you have your separate place. It's open to the library, but you have your sep separate place to do your thesis or some other work. I'm not sure if it would be possible to rent them in uh, the library I'm working. You can rent these cabins for six months maybe here because there are only six of them you can rent them for the day but the problem is if because they are open uh, it's not so easy to leave your things there the advantage that it's open is that um, the people that work there they always can see what people do with the books I didn't make a special reading room because of the space I really didn't have. But here is a sort of a section where you can just sit 
and um, yeah you just have uh, you can read something or just relax or uh, have a conversation with someone else of course not too loud because in the library it's rather quiet I didn't put any water and any fireplace inside this section of the building because as you know fire and water can be highly damaging for books so the water fountains they are strictly in the antechamber of the library in the room when you enter and the wardrobe and also outside so I just copied everything from this place to put it on this floor to have a sort of a reception desk as well I'm just changing a bit of uh, of the bookshelves over there. I really like these bookshelves. I use them in the whole build because I thought they looked good and they would be very nice for the book tower. You will see that later on. I still have 10 minutes to talk. Let's see if I can tell you some more. Um, oh yes, the, the library, the Beineck, uh, they, they uh, closed it for 18 months and they made major renovations and uh, yeah they expanded it they um they made they put in another system renovated it and it reopened last september so if i ever get the chance and i'm in the area i will certainly visit this library so what do we have something else in the history Mm, yeah, it became the repository for books in the Yale collection printed anywhere before 1800. Yeah, because it was uh, at another place um, in Yale before. So what is maybe interesting is... Um, yeah, no, it became, sorry, it became the repository for books in the Yale collection printed anywhere before the 1800s, but printed, not stored. And printed in Latin America before 1751, books printed in North America before 1821, newspapers and broadsides printed in the United States before 1851, and European tracts and pamphlets printed before 1801. And uh, now the collection spans throughout to the present day, including such modern works as limited edition poetry and artists' books. It also contains thousands of linear feet of archival material, ranging from ancient papyri and medieval manuscripts to the archived personal papers of modern writers. So, as I said, I will leave the Wikipedia link in the description, you can read it. You can also see all the special collections and you can see some pictures there. I also, of course, put the link to the pictures I used in the description. I hope it's not a problem that I'm using these um, pictures in my video. It's not for um, monetary purposes. I'm not doing YouTube for the money or I'm not uh, yeah, using it. Uh, for anything else than just for fun. I hope it's okay if I leave the description of the person that did this in, yeah, the information of the description, I'm sorry. So here you can see I'm just doing the little workspaces. I'm adding some pictures over there. And it's not taking very long to until the video tour. It's just this carpet I'm adding and then I think we will start with the video tour. Or at least I hope so that we will start with it. Oh, what I'm doing in the end after this, in the end I'm just doing something in front of the library. I don't really add some landscaping, you will see what I will add because there was one requirement I still had to 
have for the library and it was the chess table so I thought that I wanted to put the chess table outside of the build and I'm adding some fountains just because I thought they would look nice and I'm doing the same thing in the back of the build the back of the build there's not much space so I'm just adding something over there you will see that I uh, took the mailbox away and I just added a sort of a fountain and uh, yeah I, th I really like how it turned out and I can't wait to show you the video tour I will also comment the video tour it is about five minutes but I was happy to keep it uh, yeah not really over 30 minutes so on the right um, corner you can see the library how it looks from the outside this is a picture I took from the internet you will find the link to this picture in the description down below I really like um, how it looks also during the night but it night it's nice during the day you will see this at the end of the video and now we are going inside as I said before the entrance is here and between the waterfalls it is open you can see our librarian working there and uh, this is the wardrobe and the restrooms this is the other side there are two sides and um, they are similar this is a sort of the antichamber I was talking about and now we arrive inside the library uh, down below you can see the, the um, stacking uh, underground book stacks this is the place where the person would work and there is the sort of the founder statue and the stones you will see in a minute just a little screenshot of the working place and you see this book tower and this is Mr. Beinecke's statue I would believe with some information and the founding stone here you see the book tower from another view you will see a build of the uh, a picture of the book tower very soon this is the underground book stack here there is the I think the, the upper floor with some uh, space for people to sit and read we have some plants this is the other reception desk here you can see there are some newspapers if people want to read them and you can see the book tower and now on the left I think you will see a picture or took of the internet as well of the book tower you can see I changed it of course but I think the book tower looked really nicely and you can recognize it if you have seen pictures of this build or at least it is my opinion you can leave me comments if you think it is a bit like the Beinecke library or not at all here are some screenshots of the working spaces I've created there are in total six of them for some sims and when I um, play tested it they were working there this is some other screenshots where you can see uh, downstairs to the book racks that are in the underground section and this is another perspective also of this floor where you see this cozy seating area that I put in for my sims just to relax and read some books or look at some books if they want to and you can see another screenshot of this area as well here so I hope you liked my collab video I really can't wait to see what Foslu comes up with because what as I'm recording this I have no idea what she was building she has some real life stuff coming up so she will start building I think by the end of this week or maybe next week so my video will be up at the same time as hers here you can see just all the 
floors, the ground floor or the underground floor in the cellar. And then I will go up. You can see here, you see already a part of the book tower. You see the entrance section with the wardrobe and the bathrooms. And uh, next will be the ground floor section where you can see the outside place of the library and some of these really big pictures, paintings I could use for the first time. I was very happy about it. And then you will see the rest of the book tower. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to Fosloos and my channel and leave a link. I leave a link in the description of our social media and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And yeah, you can see the build here during the day. I think it looks really nice as well. I hope you liked this and I will talk to you and see you in my next video. Have a great time and take care. Bye guys. Bye bye.